Hey YouTube, welcome back. So I'm going to do some uh, front facing unprotected left turns today. Uh, I also have uh, my drone up, I have a drone operator and just to eliminate any confusion I do have a part 107 drone operators license to use these videos uh, and the drone is not being operated over any aircraft or over any uh, people. It is uh, over an undeveloped piece of property looking at the highway just to clear all of that up. So in any, in any case, we have some afternoon traffic. It's about two o'clock on a Thursday afternoon and this is my uh, three lane or divided highway. Um, so we'll come down here, let the route reset and we'll try some protected front facing left turns, which of course is where the car is looking straight ahead, not blind left turn um, and see how it goes. Okay, here's round one. We're gonna be taking this first left with some oncoming traffic. We do, we can see it does have a few crepe myrtles in the, here's a stop. Boy, that was close. That car actually went around, it stopped and it found a nice gap and it proceeded. So that worked. It kind of aggressively went for that turn um, and stopped its end right on the edge. That'll be interesting to see from the drone how close it actually came to the line before uh, it stopped. Let's see how the next one goes. Okay, here's round two. Let's see what happens here. We got some oncoming traffic. I don't see any immediate gaps. Boy, that's close. I, I wouldn't have gone that close. Um, it's uncomfortable. It's not clear. It's not clear. Okay, there's the gap it could have gone for. So I had to disengage that when it it was ooching forward. It, it might have wanted to go out into the road, but you don't go into the first lane waiting to cross the second and the third lane there. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to call that one a successful one. Let's see what happens round three. All right, here's round three. I'm able to engage it at different times based on the oncoming traffic and what it sees here. All right, we've got a lot of traffic coming, so it needs to stop. Stop, okay. The cars definitely are not comfortable with how close I am to the line, uh, but I am in a median and it does look like, uh, from this perspective, I'm clear. No, you can't go. Don't go, okay. It's, oh, feels like it's just gonna lunge. My foot is on the brake as we speak. Um, okay, there's a gap here. My foot is off the brake if it wants to go. Okay. Hey, it did that one okay. It was a pretty big gap, so it, it was able to slowly go. It definitely did not have any go for it acceleration in there. Um, its creep was right up to the edge of that yellow line that was making a few of the oncoming cars kind of go around me a little bit. Uh, I trusted at that time and, and it worked. I, I guess once that gap was there and it realizes it's there, I would rather it committed a little further into it. Um, all right, so that's uh, number three. Let's see how number four goes. Okay, so in this scenario, uh, I did have a lead car, but the lead car went ahead and, and used that gap. So I, here I am in another scenario. That car behind me very uncomfortably uh, was tailgating me getting over in this turn lane. All right, it needs to stop, it needs to stop. Oof, boy, it just takes nerves of steel, okay? It's got a nice gap, it should go for it. Go for it. Okay, well, it did that one nicely uh, with a nice gap. I'm not exactly sure if um, it was too difficult, but going up to that um, yellow line in the creep is the nerve wracking part for me right now. I just don't have the confidence uh, to completely trust that it's gonna stop each time, but I think that that will come with time and with software development. Um, it's, it's just gonna, you know, it, it's doing exactly what a, you know, a very precise driver would do. It's just, it's getting really, really close. And I, since my foot's not the one doing the braking, it takes some, uh, some patience. Let's try another one. Okay, engage this one just in time for it to have a gap and it took advantage of it right away that time. So it, uh, if there was a gap and it feels it can go for it, it kept the roll on. I think that has been my experience in most scenarios. 
if it can take it with ro while it's rolling, it does a pretty good job and it's usually pretty smooth. That was a good example of that. All right, here we go again. All right, that time it slowed in the highway too much. It was it was down to, gosh, 10 miles an hour almost in the highway behind me. There was a car that pretty, all right. Okay, I had to punch it there. That was an accelerator intervention there because it just stopped in the middle of the road with that oncoming truck. Not sure why it stopped. It definitely could have kept going. Um, so I used the accelerator well before I disconnected um, the autopilot with the steering wheel. That was a little disappointing. That one should have been a little bit easier, I think. Have to look at it in post. All right, here we go again. We got quite a bit of oncoming traffic this time. Oh, okay. All right, there's this very small gap here. Okay. All right, we're engaged with the oncoming traffic and it's just not working right there. It keeps ooching out into the road and, I, and I'm too close to the yellow line. I'm gonna engage it once it's clear on this one. Okay, now it can go. All right, it does it once it's, uh, when it's, it doesn't have to continue ooching forward. It needs to find a safe spot and wait. Uh, and it's not it's not doing the waiting quite like it needs to all right I've engaged it in the highway again I'm gonna look again to see how much it slows down before getting over all right I'm still in the lane and I'm down to 15 so it it's not using the lane to slow down and that was a nice size gap then went for it pretty good all right I think that might be it I think my drone operator just gave me the signal that we're running low on batteries so uh, in summary, I think that um, I'm a little disappointed with the way it handled the creep. I'm a little disappointed in some of the choices it made to do once the, the gap was uh, very, very small or open in the first lane, but not the second two. I'm very happy with the way it handled the rolling ones where there was a large gap or choosing a large gap. So it feels like maybe it's just a perfection of the acceleration and the commit inside of a little bit smaller gaps that needs to be worked on here. All right, hopefully this came out okay. Uh, I'll spend some time putting it together and please let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great day.